the lion, the lion, that great spirit within us, spirit of courage, for sure. We associate that with the spirit of the lion. Ultimately, it's the spirit of love, the Christ spirit, you might say. The Christ spirit through us has that ability. How does it enter us and come through us? How are we empowered by that spirit? How does that, what is the formula for that? What do you think? There's a, the ancient teaching about it is really pretty simple. There's a word from Hebrew, and then it's in Aramaic. There's a version of it in Aramaic. And it got translated abysmally through most of the, the Bible. In Hebrew, the word is teshuva. Teshuva. And it simply means to turn. And in turning, you change. In turning, you change. And the Aramaic word tubu means essentially the same, to turn. When we turn to face the Christ spirit, the spirit of the creator, the, the lion, when we turn to it, we find it in ourselves, the source of what can open the book of life. When we turn to it, we respond to it. And when we respond to it, we enter into a relationship with it. And it's not a distant one. It's a love relationship. It's a communion. And it enters us. And it comes through us. The lion is in us and through us in the world. And it's opening the book of life for us, for our community, and for the world in which we live. There is something happening from the lowest levels of who we are that's rooted in the earth and that is ascending through us. And I was speaking about the way of ascension last week, which is the way of life. There is something ascending up through us individually, and there's a cycle of that ascension for us individually and for us as human beings, as a race, as a, as a culture, world culture. Naturally, just the way we're made and the way reality is, where is it going to start? Where, where would an ascending current start? At the bottom. So at the lowest level, which is our physical nature, there's something happening in our physical nature that's to be activated. And when it's activated, it rises. And it energizes higher and higher levels of human experience. And I think we know how this goes. Energy doesn't just flow up. It also comes down. And the way it goes is that the more it's activated and the centers are activated coming up, those activated centers create a pathway through which the activation can come down. Right? It's an up and down deal. But if it never goes up, it can never come down. There is something to come down. The, you, we called it the Christ spirit, the lion. There is something to come down into us and through us, but it can't come down if there isn't something that doesn't go up to it. And how does it go up to it? Teshuva. We turn and face it and allow our life experience to rise up in praise and joy and acknowledgement of where all life comes from. And then it starts at the bottom and rises up to there. And having established that pathway, then the lightning comes down from heaven and we're living an empowered life. There are pathways within the human soul, within each of us, that are the pathways of activation and ascension. They can be grown over and disguised and hidden from lack of use. So we are called upon to 
regularly reactivate them, to regu regularly make sure that our orientation is teshuva. It's to, to look up where we orient to consciously and vibrationally is what establishes where our energy goes. We're looking into the past, scared about the future. That's where our energy going, is going into all that nothingness that goes no place. When we're in the present moment and we are oriented to the higher levels of being, and allowing all of our, of our human soul to orient that way, there's something that naturally rises up in love. Profound love. Profound love. We get to discover how much we love the very source of being. And then something comes down. We're empowered to open the book. To open the book of life. The lion of Judah is in, a, in us, through us. The great Christ spirit is working through us. It's like, what is that? What is that I'm feeling? You say it's pure love. Pure love. Why is it pure? It's purely that which is creative of love. There are forms of love that are mixed in with all kinds of other things that are agonizing. But there is pure love. And I could feel that so strongly in the air and in what we were sharing. Who's the one hand who rightly belongs in ours? It's the person in front of you. It's the person next to you. We could be looking for the true love. Uh, forever. <laughs> but the, the true love is that one person who's meant to be with you in the creative cycle that you're in right now, doing what you're doing right now. Take that hand. Take that hand. And learn how to be in that. Call upon the spirit of the lion to be in that. To be in that together with authority to open the book of life together with another person and ultimately with all those who are meant to be with you in your life. Let's open the book of life. Let's open the book of life together. <laughs>